We welcome you to Friday Night Smackdown, where tonight, the franchise John Cena is back on the blue brand, and in your main event, he goes one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever against meaner than evil, Braun Breaker. I want to take you back to the season premiere of SmackDown seven nights ago, where John Cena resurfaced for the first time since SummerSlam. Now, John Cena, originally a Monday Night Raw superstar, but we found out over the last week, officially a free agent here in the WWE. And John Cena going face to face with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, after his successful United States Championship defense last week over Grayson Waller. Certainly an interesting situation. Cena, Cody, could that be incoming for the gold? We are live tonight from the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida. And with a massive main event on hand, what bigger way to kick things off than the world heavyweight champion, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre has got his own scores to settle with the Apex Predator Randy Orton. A lot of history between those two men and certainly just over the last few months that history has continued to develop. McIntyre meets Orton on the 22nd, but tonight he's got his hands full with the Iris Ace of Friday Night Smackdown in J.D. McDonough. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. As McIntyre gets set for action, we're going to take you back to two weeks ago here on SmackDown, where we saw a familiar sight. Randy Orton, this is the second time in recent months where Orton attacked McIntyre from behind and used his own world championship over the cranium of the Scottish Warrior. Certainly throwing down the gauntlet that Orton was not done pursuing his world championship aspirations. Orton's been waiting for a one-on-one -on -one match for the World Heavyweight Championship against Drew McIntyre for months. He got an opportunity back at Money in the Bank in July. That was a triple threat with Edge. Just a few weeks ago at No Mercy, it was a five-man elimination match. McIntyre survived it all, but can he survive Orton when it's one-on-one? -on -one? And speaking of one-on-one, -on -one, here comes this devilish opponent that McIntyre looks for. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough makes his way down the aisle, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, coming up on October the 22nd at Clash at the Castle, Drew McIntyre puts the World Heavyweight Championship on the line against the Apex Predator Randy Orton. A one-on-one -on -one match, months in the making here on Friday Night SmackDown. Who is going to leave Cardiff, Wales and Principality Stadium waving the flag of Friday Night SmackDown? We find out live Sunday night, October the 22nd. Still to come tonight here on SmackDown, the franchise John Cena is back on the blue brand. He goes one-on-one -on -one with Braun Breaker. But what bigger way to kick things off tonight in the Magic City of Orlando than J.D. McDonough looking to top all the world heavyweight champion, Drew McIntyre. Would be an absolute monstrous victory for that Irish ace of Friday Night SmackDown if he can upset McIntyre tonight. But that is certainly no easy task. Easier said than done is a win over the Scottish Warrior. 2023 has been the year of that man in the plaid. Drew McIntyre has taken SmackDown by storm, winning Elimination Chamber back in January. Set McIntyre on a collision course to the top of Friday Night SmackDown that he has reigned upon all year long. McIntyre has held the World Heavyweight Championship and since WrestleMania earlier this year has defended it against any and all challengers, including the likes of Randy Orton. Will Randy Orton's one-on-one -on -one matchup that he has been searching for for months be the expiration date on McIntyre's World Championship reign? We will get the answer to that question in just a couple of weeks in Cardiff, Wales. Right now, Drew McIntyre showcasing his powerhouse abilities, if you will, over the Irish ace. He's definitely a striker, not afraid to take things to the air. Maybe McDonough could be a great technical wrestler at times. Recently saw him as a participant in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. He fell in the quarterfinals to Monday Night Raw's Ilya Dragunov. 
And speaking of the Cruiserweight Classic, don't miss the CWC finale. Is the culmination over the last seven weeks, the tournament finals tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Ilya Dragunov, one-on-one -on -one with Johnny Organo, plus more taking place inside Hammerstein Ballroom tomorrow afternoon, live at 3 p.m. Right now, J.D. McDonough looking good over McIntyre. He's got the world champion down. McDonough's got all the tools to be a big-time player here on SmackDown. Don't let his size discount his abilities inside of the squared circle as he certainly knows how to take the big man down to size. Great maneuver there by J.D. McDonough, taking McIntyre off his feet and then kept him there momentarily with a double boots to the rib cage. The man can't breathe, he can't fight, and that is what J.D. McDonough was looking to do moments ago against the World Heavyweight Champion. And smart by J.D. to keep the foot on the gas pedal here. And what a maneuver off the middle buckle. Looks like a forearm, I believe, from our vantage point, but McIntyre gets the shoulder up at two. McDonough has given the fight to the World Heavyweight Champion here tonight, and I expect nothing less. Oh, but wait a minute. Here's McIntyre with a future shock DDT. And that may be all she wrote. Not just yet as J.D. McDonough gets the shoulder off the canvas. And a great effort by the Irish Ace so far continues to persevere forward. Oh, you see McIntyre was going towards the corner. Could have been thinking Claymore, but... J.D. McDonough has done his homework coming into this matchup. Taking McIntyre off his feet momentarily and now sends him into the corner. J.D., great wherewithal to survive the future shock DDT and now is back in control of your opening match tonight in Orlando. Drew McIntyre so close to his world championship defense against Randy Orton just a few weeks away. Does not want to risk injury in this very physical match against the Irish Ace so far. J.D. McDonough crash and burn. They don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing as McIntyre, again, looked to be going for the Claymore, but every time he goes to that corner, it's as if he's leaving a window of opportunity for J.D. McDonough. Wait a minute here. Almost stole the victory over the world champion. Imagine what a win over McIntyre could do for J.D. McDonough's career here on SmackDown. And he almost had him right there. I'm sure Randy Orton is watching on and would love to see McIntyre's momentum derailed on the road to clash at the castle as J.D. McDonough with a tope suicida right to the heart of the world champion. J.D. McDonough came to Orlando to play tonight, realizes the opportunity at hand, and he is not letting up. Another double stomp to the rib cage this time on the outskirts of the squared circle. McIntyre is hurt as J.D. McDonough getting outran by McIntyre that time as Drew McIntyre just trying to create some distance. Oh, but wait a minute. J.D. McDonough caught between a rock and a hard place as McIntyre's got him tied up in the ropes. Taking a page out of his old pal Sheamus's book with the 10 beats of the boundary. Referees at a count of seven, J.D. McDonough trying to fight through the pain here and McIntyre, but even caught some of the referee unintentionally off that lariat. Such power behind that. Oh, but J.D. McDonough counters into the sunset flip. He's gonna steal the victory, not just yet. Referee a little slow. Possibly to get the three count after McIntyre caught him a little bit with that lariat. Referee's got to get his wits about him as J.D. McDonough going for the victory over the champion. But McIntyre kicks out. I don't know if that would have been a three had the referee had his eggs unscrambled, but nonetheless, the matchup rolls forward. J.D. McDonough, win, lose, or draw tonight, is giving McIntyre a run for his money in the middle of the Amway Center. As McIntyre realizes that He's a little bit behind in this matchup, trying to pick up the pace as the World Heavyweight Champion. And it's not necessarily a situation that McIntyre is unfamiliar with, but McIntyre knows how to come back when his back is up against the wall. That has been one of the things that has led him to such a successful World Championship reign. Well, Drew McIntyre sending J.D. McDonough back inside the squared circle. 
can only get the three count between the ropes, and that's what McIntyre is in search for tonight. Wait a minute, McDonough, look at the strength out of the Irish Ace. Beautiful maneuver. He's going to knock off the champion. Huge victory incoming, not just yet. Man, what an upset that would have been. McIntyre sent McDonough in the ring, but that little bit of distance allowed McIntyre to get his wits about him. Oh, man, and McIntyre. Almost got knocked off by J.D. McDonough, but here comes the Scottish Warrior. McDonough survives. It's international affair tonight here in the middle of Orlando, Florida, and these two men putting on a show to kick things off here on SmackDown. What a black hole slam straight to the abyss. That was by McIntyre. Oh, wait a minute, McIntyre, third time, maybe a charm in the corner. Loaded up for a Claymore kick. Right to the dome of the Irish Ace. And that'll take us to a conclusion. Well, J.D. McDonough, hats off to the young man, pushing Drew McIntyre to his limits tonight. A great performance by the Irish Ace here on SmackDown, but Drew McIntyre continues to wave the flag of the blue brand and momentum certainly on the side of the world heavyweight champion heading into his clash with Randy Orton at Clash at the Castle. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre continues to push on. Better than ever is the Scottish Warrior. But will that momentum lead him to another victory? Wait a minute, wait a minute. J.D. McDonough from behind. Well, the match is over, but J.D. McDonough is not satisfied in defeat. An ambush on the World Heavyweight Champion. J.D. not taking kindly to this loss here tonight as McDonough ambushing McIntyre. An unnecessary assault. And wait a minute, now Randy Orton's in the ring. Randy Orton's now in the ring, attacking an already weakened Drew McIntyre. Oh, I smell a rat. It looks like a setup to me. JD McDonough gave the bait, and Randy Orton bit. And now Orton is ambushing the World Heavyweight Champion here at ringside. Randy Orton has made an MO of attacking Drew McIntyre from behind as of late. The World Championship over the Dome just a few weeks ago, and now at ringside with a big time neck breaker. Orton is looking to soften up the Scottish Warrior ahead of Clash of the Castle. And now he's cleared off the announce table, and I do not like this. A week in Drew McIntyre just weeks before Cardiff Wales is not going to do the champion any good. Oh no, and Randy Orton continuing this onslaught here in the Amway Center. Well, no one wants to get between Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre. As McIntyre trying to fight back, successful against McDonough, but unfortunately the numbers too much for McIntyre to handle. Smells like a rat to me. It looks like J.D. McDonough took out McIntyre so Randy Orton could pick the bones. And Orton now with an RKO through the announce table. Randy Orton sending an emphatic statement that he is coming to clash at the castle with one goal in mind, and that's to leave Cardiff Wales as the new world heavyweight champion. It is coming your way tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. The long-awaited Cruiserweight Classic Finale coming your way from Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. And what an afternoon it is going to be. The Cruiserweight Championship of the World is on the line. Chad Gable gets another crack at the Emperor of the Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar. Escobar defeated Gable at no mercy. Can he go two for two? The gold's on the line tomorrow afternoon. And from Monday Night Raw, the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Tyler Bate, is in action in this interpromotional match as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Akira Tozawa. Tyler Bate knocked off Seth Rollins this past Monday. We're going to keep that momentum going tomorrow afternoon. 
and it is the finals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. We started with 16. We are down to two. Johnny Gargano, Ilya Dragunov, who will etch their name in the annals of history as the second ever winner of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. We find out tomorrow afternoon, live at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. What an event it is going to be. The Cruiserweight Classic has been something to watch over the last seven weeks, but now we focus in on some women's division action here in Orlando. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Well, Shayna Baszler, for the first time since June, walking down the aisle without a championship around her waist, and that is because of the events of No Mercy last month defeating Candice LeRae to retain the WWE Women's Championship only to be met by the surprise of Mrs. Money in the Bank, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley from Raw. After Shayna Baszler endured a grueling match with Candice LeRae, the Nightmare picked her spot perfectly, eradicating the Queen of Spades and ended up leaving Baltimore, Maryland as the new WWE Women's Champion. Rhea Ripley on a collision course on Monday Night Raw, but SmackDown's Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, returns to action for the first time since No Mercy, and Caden Carter, in my eyes, drawing the unlucky straw, having to go through what I'm sure is a motivated as all hell, Baszler here tonight. But here we go, a little women's division action here on SmackDown. Katana Chance at ringside, and you remember a few months ago, Katana Chance going on one with Shayna Baszler here on SmackDown. Took then champion Baszler to the limit here on Friday nights. Let's see if Caden Carter can have the same result. Shayna Baszler, very few blemishes on the record in 2023. And they're hot off the heels of a successful and dominating run at the top of the division as the women's champion. You know Baszler's looking to come back tonight. Looking to be successful, but Caden Carter with other plans. Big time crossbody over the top. Both Caden Carter and her tag team partner Katana Chance not afraid to take things to the air. As we are witnessing right now, and Shayna Baszler, gotta wonder if she is in her own psyche tonight. Possibly so angry and frustrated and super motivated to just get back in the wind column tonight. She might look, look past Caden Carter unintentionally and allow a slip up, allowing Kay and Carter a window of opportunity to try to steal the win. <laughs> Remains to be seen, Baszler has beaten some of the best of them in 2023, including the likes of Candice LeRae and Liv Morgan and Asuka. And now Shayna Baszler, submission hold locked in, arm bar on Kaden Carter, nowhere to go, and Kaden Carter elects to tap out. You're risking further injury if you stay in a submission hold for that long, especially with somebody like Shayna Baszler as the one applying it. Baszler came in with the blueprint here on the blue brand and certainly executed it to perfection here tonight on SmackDown. Dominating win. Here is your winner, the Queen of Spades, Shayna. Baszler is back, but what is next for the Queen of Spades on SmackDown? The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown, we are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It is WWE Clash at the Castle. And it is coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss this international extravaganza as Raw and SmackDown present Clash at the Castle. Clash at the Castle is coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd at 5 p.m. Eastern Time from Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. And ladies and gentlemen, just signed for Clash at the Castle. The WWE Women's Championship will be on the line as the Nightmare Rhea Ripley defends against Monday Night Raw's Becky Lynch. What a matchup that is going to be coming up on the 22nd of October. 
Also from Monday Night Raw, the Intercontinental Championship is at stake when L.A. Knight puts the gold on the line against the big strong boy Tyler Bate. He's been on a roll as of late, but can Bate keep that momentum up in Principality Stadium? We will determine a future challenger for the WWE Championship of Raw when the almighty Bobby Lashley meets the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar one-on-one, number one contendership is at stake when these two monsters collide. We found out last week that Legato Del Fantasma is officially the number one contenders for the WWE World Tag Team title, and they get their date with Destiny October the 22nd when they meet the Brawling Brutes. Monday Night Raw's main event brings to us what will sure be a hellacious last man standing match for the WWE Championship as the Celtic Warrior Sheamus looks to take down Seth freaking Rollins. And from Friday Night SmackDown, it's the World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Randy Orton looks to topple the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre once and for all, who will wave the flag of the blue brand after Cardiff Wales. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking you to earlier today as the rated R superstar Edge took to Twitter and had this to say. My road towards the world championship has come to an end. For now, McIntyre is truly on a level of his own and he deserves my respect. But one man I do not respect is Austin Theory. Kid, it's time we settle this. I'm throwing out the challenge for Tardiff. Let's finish this once And for all, a decorated history between Edge and Austin Theory over the last year, especially over the last few months here on SmackDown. Edge looking to go one-on-one with Austin Theory and settle the score at Cardiff Wales. Will Austin Theory accept the challenge, however, remains to be seen. We are back inside the Amway Center here in Orlando, Florida. And speaking of Clash at the Castle, you are looking at your new number one contenders to the WWE World Tag Team titles. Cruz Del Toro, Joaquin Wilde, taking down Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium last week in what was a phenomenal tag team match on the season premiere of Friday nights. But now Cruz Del Toro looking to build some more momentum for LDF as we get a rare appearance by the WWE World Tag Team Champs here on SmackDown. The Brawling Brutes are here, the Brawling Brutes are live, and Rich Holland is set for action. And his opponent, accompanied by Butch, representing the Brawling Brutes from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Rich Holland. Well, the Bruiserweight Butch and Ridge, the Fridge Holland, have certainly taken Monday Night Raw by storm and have been on a roll as of late, becoming the new WWE World Tag Team Champions just a few weeks ago at Unforgiven in Chicago. And the Brawling Brutes already retaining their titles against Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly on Raw. But of course, those championships interpromotional between both brands. SmackDown teams eligible to, to compete for those World Tag Team titles as well, and hence the reason why Ridge Holland and Butch are able to be here on SmackDown tonight. We're getting a little preview of Clash at the Castle. It will take place in Cardiff, Wales. Gives us an early look here in Orlando, Florida, as Ridge Holland, the powerhouse between himself and Butch, taking the fight to Cruz Del Toro. It's going to be an incredible tag team matchup when we get to October the 22nd in Principality Stadium. That is when the gold will be on the line, but so much riding on this match as well. You don't want to go into such a high profile match with a defeat against your opposer. Bruce Del Toro must steal the victory over Ridge the Fridge right there in the early going. A lot of momentum riding on the line for these two teams. And I'm sure mutual respect is there. These two teams have become two of the fan favorites on their respective brands. But in the end, the tag team titles are on the line and Ridge Holland showing how just motivated he is to not only build momentum, but retain those titles come the 22nd. What a pounce that was on Cruz Del Toro. Gato Del Fantasma's leader, Santos Escobar, will defend his Cruiserweight Championship tomorrow afternoon against Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. And just imagine if Escobar can get through Gable tomorrow afternoon, and if Legado del Fantasma can get through the Brawling Brutes at Clash at the Castle. 
LDF's going to be holding all the gold in their group. What a sight to see that would be. Certainly a contrast in styles here tonight between Cruz del Toro and Ridge Holland. Ridge the powerhouse. Cruz del Toro loves to take things to the air, as we see right there off the springboard. Cruz del Toro was introduced to the WWE back in the inaugural Cruiserweight Classic in 2016, and it's because of maneuvers like this that he's been here to stay ever since. Could be a huge win for del Toro tonight. We've seen Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde in singles matches in the past on SmackDown. Win-loss record not really in their favor. But certainly seeing tag team success seven nights ago. I'm hoping that will bleed into tonight. But as this matchup progresses, Ridge Holland's looking to bring it to a screeching halt. And Cruz Del Toro able to survive, but what a overhead throw by Ridge the Fridge. And down goes Del Toro again. Ridge Holland, all kinds of fired up. It is always fight night when the brawling brutes are in town. Into the cover. Oh, but a big time kick out there. Cruz del Toro with the wherewithal to survive. Not looking to see a loss in the lead up to Clash at the Castle. Really shows the guts and the glory of Cruz del Toro to be able to survive those couple big time maneuvers from Holland. And now dishes out one of his own. Cruz del Toro, as we mentioned, we're used to seeing him take things to the air, but not afraid to dig down deep and pull a rabbit out of the hat if need be. Now del Toro, a little Frankensteiner from the top rope, keeping it classic in those cruiserweight division. Awesome move by del Toro, and it is sending Ridge Holland on the run. Ridge is rocked after that fall from the top. And Del Toro's wheels are spinning, and so is his entire body off the step-up corkscrew. That maneuver wowed many of us years ago in the inaugural Cruiserweight Classic, and Cruz Del Toro continues to use it to success. Rich Holland may be in trouble, not just yet. Del Toro could have been closing in on victory. Holland sensed it, and now the reversal. You want to talk, keeping it simple. A good old fashioned suplex never goes out of style. And what great effort by these two motivated competitors here tonight. World Tag Team titles aren't even on the line tonight. Simply about momentum. Getting an early preview of the opponents in the lead up to Cardiff, Wales. And what is to come at Clash at the Castle. And neither one of these men looking to take a loss. Still to come tonight in your main event. The franchise John Cena after that shocking return last week going face to face with Cody Rhodes is back in action tonight on the blue brand. He meets Braun Breaker in just a little bit here in Orlando. Meanwhile, Del Toro on the top. Another core screw, arm drag. Nice maneuver there. Del Toro so innovative as our Legato Del Fantasma as a trio. And that is the reason they found success last week and the reason they might just find success in Principality Stadium. Ridge Holland, who going for the shoulder block there. Del Toro did his homework. Wait a minute, this is the same maneuver that he used to pin Vinci last week on SmackDown, but it doesn't steal the victory over Holland tonight. If you missed out on the season premiere of SmackDown last week, do yourself a favor, seek out the replay available right now and watch that matchup between Legado del Fantasma and Imperium. You want to see two of the best teams walking planet Earth today. Go watch that match and see for yourself what it means just to become the number one contenders for the World Tag Team titles. Four superstars and left it all, all inside the squared circle last week as these two men are doing here tonight. Del Toro looking for a window of opportunity to close this matchup, but he drops the elbow to the spinal cord of Ridge Holland. Now Holland rolling to the outside, but Del Toro is back where he's most comfortable. Realizes he's in for a fight tonight, and this time hits the corkscrew arm drag, but on the outside of the ring. A thin layer of padding is it not gonna do you any good. It's one thing to hit that maneuver in between the ropes. It's a whole other thing on the outside of the ring. Extra damage done as Del Toro with the frog splash to the injured back. 
And that's going to do it. Del Toro. Oh, he thought he had him there. Thought he had the victory over Ridge Holland. Hit him with that elbow drop. A few moments ago, the arm drag on the outside. You thought the frog splash to the lower back was going to do it, but Ridge Holland showing some of that intestinal fortitude here tonight. But it may not be enough. Else Del Toro just turned him inside out. Oh my goodness, but Ridge Holland, the intestinal fortitude of this brawling brute to persevere and keep this matchup going. Man, if this is a preview of what we're going to get in Principality Stadium, we are in for a treat. Come Cardiff, Wales, Ridge Holland, what a maneuver! Once again, turning Del Toro inside and out and drops him on the canvas, and that's a victory for a visiting Ridge Holland from Monday Night Raw. Well, Del Toro and Wild will have their opportunity at greatness come October the 22nd in Cardiff. But as for tonight, Ridge Holland and Butch laying down the gauntlet, saying this is what you're going to have to deal with when the titles are on the line and opportunity is at an all-time high. Here is your winner, Ridge Holland! A great effort by Cruz Del Toro. And Legado del Fantasma, certainly not a team that the Brawling Brutes are going to have to take lightly. But as for tonight, the World Tag Team Champions regain their momentum. The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown, we are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It is WWE Clash at the Castle. And it is coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss this international extravaganza as Raw and SmackDown present Clash at the Castle. Coming your way next Friday night on SmackDown, the Nigerian giant Omas set to go one-on-one -on -one with the American Nightmare, the United States champion, Cody Rhodes. What a matchup that's going to be. It's coming your way next week, live on Friday Night SmackDown. But as for tonight in the Amway Center, it is main event time from Orlando, Florida. Seven nights ago, the franchise was back, but tonight he steps inside the squared circle. The now free agent of WWE graces us with his presence here on the blue brand. John Cena went face to face with the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes seven nights ago. Cody had just defeated a debuting Grayson Waller who accepted his open challenge on the season premiere for the United States title. As Cody was celebrating, John Cena sliding into the ring and going face to face with the champion. And I think Cena made it very obvious what his intentions were to challenge for the American Nightmares United States Championship. But as always, championship opportunities are earned and Cena's looking to earn it the hard way tonight against a man who just recently ran through Cody Rhodes and unfortunately fell short at no mercy, that being Braun Breaker. This could easily be an unofficial number one contenders matchup tonight. John Cena, Braun Breaker. Omas has got Cody next week. Everybody's gunning for the United States Championship, but who is going to secure the victory, gain the momentum, and take their place at the front of the line? As we mentioned, meaner than evil, Braun Breaker stood toe to toe with Cody Rhodes last month in Baltimore for the United States Championship. And man, did Braun Breaker give Cody Rhodes a run for his money on that night. Very multiple occasions in that match did Braun Breaker look like he was gonna leave no mercy as the United States Champion. In the end, the American Nightmare persevering just wanted it a little bit more on that night and Cody Rhodes retaining his United States title. 
Cody now adding Braun Breaker and Grayson Waller as United States Championship successful victories. And as we look towards Cody versus Omos next week, we got to focus in on Cena and Breaker here tonight in Orlando. And Cena back in action here on SmackDown and comes out hot out of the gate. And not only is this Cena's first matchup back on SmackDown since earlier this year, this is Cena's first matchup inside the squared circle since August the 20th at SummerSlam. What an opponent to get matched up against, none other than Braun Breaker, a man who has taken SmackDown by storm since his debut back in March. Former two-time NXT champion, a man who has went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes and Edge. Braun Breaker is looking to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with John Cena and secure the biggest win of his SmackDown career here tonight. Braun Breaker certainly with a youth advantage and hoping that is going to play a factor into him getting his hand raised tonight here in Orlando. Thank you for joining us for what has been an action-packed night here on SmackDown. All roads lead to October the 22nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday night. Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, Clash at the Castle. And of course, don't forget, we will be live tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. It is the finale of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament that has taken place over the last eight weeks. We will see Johnny Gargano and Ilya Dragunov in the finals of the CWC. Santos Escobar defends his Cruiserweight title against Chad Gable. All of that is coming your way tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern time. But my goodness, is Braun Breaker taking John Cena on a roller coaster ride inside of that squared circle right now? Powerhouse game. The intensity that Braun Breaker brings to the table. Almost some of that modern day ruthless aggression, if you will, in the fight that Braun Breaker has inside of him. John Cena, we get the shoulder up, but Cena is finding out firsthand in this first time ever match with Braun Breaker. And he is in there with not only one of the superstars of tomorrow, but one of the superstars of right now on SmackDown. John Cena came out hot, but Braun Breaker has completely flipped the switch on the returning franchise player. John Cena's hurt. Cena rolling to the outside, and Braun Breaker is reminding the world tonight just what he is capable of. He said, you can all look at that loss that happened at no mercy. One loss, one night against Cody Rhodes. But I'm coming back here tonight, and I'm coming to play. I'm coming to win against John Cena. Braun Breaker. Oh, wait a minute. Misstep by Breaker, and Cena's going right for the kill. Couple of shoulder blocks. Never go for the Lariat. It never works out against Cena. And now Cena going for the cover. Will that do it? Braun Breaker gets the shoulder up. Going to take a little more to keep that young, hungry superstar down. We've called him the blue chipper of SmackDown in the past for good reason. The reason that John Cena, again, is finding out firsthand, but trying to flip the switch now on Breaker, get the momentum back on his side. And again, possibly earn himself a future opportunity at the United States Championship he is obviously seeking. Oh, now Cena going back to the well with what has brought him success for over 20 years here in WWE. Five knuckle shuffle. A little you can't see me to the meaner than evil superstar, but Braun Breaker, he may not be able to see, but he can fight at least for another moment. John Cena went to the well with one of his best maneuvers and could have been going for the AA, but Braun Breaker had it scouted. Now this bear hug just trying to squeeze the life out of the franchise. John Cena doing all he can to fight out of it, not looking to see loss on his first match back since August the 20th at SummerSlam. Nonetheless, Braun Breaker who's been in control of the majority of this matchup, going for a little Frankensteiner made famous by the Steiner family. Cena rolling to the outside, and Braun Breaker's wheels are turning. 
full head of steam. The powerhouse takes it to the air. Braun Breaker is just an all-around athlete. And if you didn't know, Braun Breaker is certainly telling you firsthand right now. The blue chipper of SmackDown, and John Cena's got no answer. Trying to fight out between a rock and a hard place, getting Breaker off his back. But for how much longer? Cena mus muscled up Breaker. Breaker says otherwise. And Cena getting sent right into the barricade by hands of Braun Breaker. Cena is certainly being welcomed back to the dance with full force tonight. Referees at a count of seven, and Breaker may be on the verge of a count out victory tonight in Orlando. Cena trying to get inside the ring, but certainly not a lot of hustle behind the franchise player. But there's still some heart, and where there's heart, there's some fight. John Cena swinging. With his back up against the wall, that is where Cena has been the most successful throughout his career. And although Braun Breaker has controlled the majority of this matchup, and I'm sure Breaker just as motivated to get a victory tonight, Cena's not looking to have an unsuccessful return to Friday Night SmackDown. As we mentioned before the opening bell, a lot of superstars gunning for Cody Rhodes. These two men, the Nigerian Giant Omos, I'm sure other superstars in the locker room looking for their opportunity. I'm sure there's a lot of eyes on the monitor behind those curtains. And every man looking to see who is going to get the victory between Braun Breaker and John Cena. This is what you would call a locker room sellout. But just like that, Braun Breaker not even allowing Cena's comeback. Because Braun Breaker just cutting John Cena's legs out from under him. And again, Breaker. Looking to use his strength, his size, his agility, his all-around assets to his advantage and squeeze the life out of John Cena. John Cena trying to do what worked from before and that start throwing elbows, throwing fists, whatever you got to do. Now Cena's caught. And down goes the franchise player. Braun Breaker is making this main event a showcase of the meaner than evil superstar of tomorrow. John Cena, we thought the lights would be on bright and the spotlight would be on him, but Braun Breaker is shoving John Cena right out of that spotlight and solidifying that he is not just the superstar of tomorrow, but the now of Friday Night SmackDown. And Braun Breaker wants his opportunity. Referee could be on the verge of counting out John Cena as Braun Breaker looks on, searching for that count out. Back inside the ring. Breaker manhandling Cena as he sends him into the corner. Nobody home off the splash. And there's John Cena using his own body as a weapon. Any means necessary to try to get back into this match. Cena just throwing caution in the wind that time, but it's one thing to turn the tides on Braun Breaker, but the damage may be done. I don't know if Cena's got what it takes. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Breaker's on the top. Cena's gonna meet him. Cena's gonna up the ante with a super attitude adjustment. With Braun Breaker controlling the majority of this contest, Cena realizing it's do or die. And that's gonna do it. The Super AA leads to the victory for a returning franchise. Well, John Cena certainly playing the role of the comeback kid here tonight on SmackDown. Breaker showed domination, but Cena showed resilience. Here is your winner, John Cena! With the face-to-face -face last week and a successful victory, has Cena done enough? to put himself at the front of the line and be the next to challenge the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes for the United States Championship.
Cody is back in action next week, one-on-one -on -one with the Nigerian giant Omos, as the road to clash at the castle is set to continue. Thank you for joining us tonight in Orlando. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. Song when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.